Welcome to Look Smarter Than You Are with Oracle Enterprise Performance Reporting Cloud Service. My name is Opal Alipat, and today we're going to talk about the feature Management Reporting. In December 2016, Oracle released a brand new feature to EPRCS called Management Reporting, and boy was it a game changer. EPRCS Management Reporting provides a centralized hub for brand new reports that can be created against EPM data sources. These reports may be used in EPRCS report packages, which is the narrative reporting tool of EPRCS. At the time this video was created, management reporting supported only EPM and BI cloud data sources, but this may change in the future. One of the interesting details about management reporting is the ability to create brand new reports directly out of EPRCS. Now this might be a confusing point as it seems like EPRCS already does that. However, reports are very different from report packages. Reports are self-contained. They include headers, footers, grids, charts, images, etc. But EPRCS report packages include multiple reports as well as the inclusion of narrative. Some of the reporting features may be similar to the tool called financial reporting that you can use in many other EPM tools. As you'll notice, some of the features that come with this technology right now include the ability to use global POV members. There are also cell row and grid properties. You have the ability to insert grids, charts, images, and text, very similar to financial reporting. There are also functions to dynamically reference dimension members, and there are grid and row formulas. In addition, this new reports feature allows you to manage EPM cloud data sources as well as create reports against those data sources, and you can even include multiple data sources in a single report. They are adding new features each month. There are other great features in management reporting as well. One is the ability to create EPRCS variables that can control the source POV members of your new EPRCS reports. And what that allows you to do is as those variable values are updated, you can auto refresh the source EPM cloud data within those reports. And then you can use those reports in report packages as they are well integrated. You can also preview those reports and you can freeze headers for very long reports. In conclusion, this new EPRCS feature called Management Reporting has some really great benefits. First of all, it has this brand new development area where you can build EPRCS reports directly from the technology using EPM cloud data sources that you control. And then you can take those reports and incorporate them into report packages with other data sources. You can auto refresh those EPRCS reports and you can centralize all of your reporting in one single place.